Plastic is forever. It's made and it never goes away. Plastic gets out into the ocean and it can entangle. Seabirds can get caught up into it and then not be able to fly or they can drown. Marine mammals, whales, dolphins, they're large enough where they're swimming and trying to eat other fish and, and their prey and then they're actually eating plastic pollution and sea turtles will eat plastic bags they can their jellyfish. Once they have that plastic in their stomach, they can't digest it, so it just stays in there. They feel like they're full all the time when it's really just full of plastic, so they're not getting as much nutrients. And then on top of that, all the plastic chemicals are leaching back out into the animal itself. And so if those are animals that we eat, then that in turn is being placed on our dinner plates and we're ingesting that plastic pollution as well. We're at a tipping point where the problem is huge and we really need to do something about it. One reason why plastic is really important to me personally is because I used to work in a plastic injection molding facility and I started to realize that my income stream was all based on petroleum and that didn't really line up with my values. That focus of undoing maybe what I had done with my role in the plastic company led me to Surfrider. Surfrider Foundation is a grassroots nonprofit that is dedicated to the protection and enjoyment of our oceans, waves, and beaches. At the core of Surfrider's values is ensuring that people have a healthy area to recreate. Within the San Francisco chapter, we have a couple programs mostly focused on plastic pollution. We clean the beach three times a month, two at Ocean Beach and one at Baker Beach. When people do take the time, whatever amount it is, that has a lasting impact. Plastic definitely has its uses, but the culture that we've developed around using plastic and not really being mindful of the impacts is really unfortunate. If more people think about where the plastic that they're using comes from and what happens to it after, that can be really powerful. People just have more of a say in what's going on around them than they really think. Just being mindful of what you use is the most important part and thinking twice about using the utensil that you're going to grab. If you're getting a drink, do you actually need the straw? Do you actually need the lid? The local action and then influencing from the bottom up, that's going to continue to be the way to get things done.